Hi, my name is Abdul Rahman from Maple Systems and I'll be going over the PID ladder instruction in this video tutorial. First, let's go to an empty subroutine and hover over the functions tab. Now scroll over the PID button and place the PID4 ladder instruction on the first rung. Now that we know where the instruction is located and what it looks like, let's go over to screen number 4 and place the appropriate ladder logic subroutine on the right hand side of the screen. First, let's review some of the registers that we need for the for this PID. We need two input, four control, and four output registers. Now let's go to our tag database and confirm this quickly. As you can see on the screen, we have a signed register D400 and D401 for the input, D410 to D415 for control, and lastly D420 to D423 for the output. Now let's go back to our screen and logic. Notice the numeric register values in red and gray. These are the PID inputs. The manipulation value, previous error 1, previous error 2, and previous manipulation value f are all PID outputs. And finally, the proportional gain, integral time, derivative gain, gap, scan interval, and action type are all PID controls. Each register display on the screen is tied to an appropriate tag address. Now notice the trend graph on the screen. Here are the properties of the trend graph. Under the tag attributes, we have three tags. Tag number one is the input value, tag number two is the set value, and tag number three is the manipulation value. Each tag has an appropriate select tag color chosen to match the register colors above. Here are the parameter details. You can look this up by simply navigating to help content search and search for PID4 just like how you see on the screen. Now let's finally look at the lateral logic instruction and examine how it works. The on bit is turned on at all times. On every scan, the PID4 ladder instruction executes and outputs an appropriate value to register D410 based on the input and control values which are registers D400 to D401 and D410 to D415. The PID instruction generates and outputs a value based on the algorithm that you see on the screen. For more information regarding how exactly each parameter sways the output value, search for PID controls online. You can find some quick information regarding PID loop tuning. Now let's go over to an HMC and observe the PID. Let's change the set value to 2000. Let's also change the proportional gain to 10, the integral time to 15, the derivative gain to 20, the gap to 95, the scan interval to 0, and the scan action type to 1. Now observe what happens when we increment or decrement the value. And remember, since this is a simulation of the PID, the input value that we control should follow the manipulation value. So if the manipulation value is higher than the input value, we should increase the input. Observe. And that concludes our video tutorial. For more information, please contact Maple Systems or visit us online at maplesystems.com.